Welcome. In this lecture, we are going to understand a very important thing in electrical distribution system that is called distribution board or simply DB. Now, what is distribution board? It is a board which divides electrical power into subsidiary circuits. This is a very important part. What is subsidiary circuit? Suppose this is a distribution board. From here, you want to take the output power to your individual load. What are the individual load? Your light, fan, socket or any other electrical loads. To bring that power into the loads, you have to go through some circuits or wiring. There is certain rules that how much power you should bring out from this individual MCB or circuit. But in a simple words, the number of points that are coming out from this MCBs, those are usually named in distribution system, submain wiring, circuit wiring. Those are the subsidiary circuits from the main supply system and that is possible when we are distributing the incoming power to the load points through these dbs so db is nothing but an intermediate component in power system or distribution system to properly manage your system now if we try to define the types of a distribution system then it may be in various aspects okay i am coming all these aspects one by one so first is SPN and TPN. SPN stands for three single phase neutral or single pole neutral. This is an SPN DB. TPN stands for three phase neutral or triple neutral and this is a TPN DB. From SPN DB we used to bring out the load connections and there is a rule that is from each individual circuit one can take maximum 800 watt or 10 points clear for tpn db the three phase power comes to the tpn db and from here it is given to the spn db so tpn db is the intermediate db between this three phase supply or input to this single phase output clear yeah. now this tp and db are of two types one is horizontal another is vertical it is something like the orientation what is orientation see the breakers in this db that is horizontal tp and db are oriented in horizontal form clear yeah. but in case of vertical tp and db the breakers are like in a vertical structure if you want to express it like here the dbs are like or on which the breakers are mounted that is called din rail are like this one two three four and in vertical tp and db it is mounted like in a vertical form that is one two three four this db segments can be used suppose this is for r phase this is for y phase and this is for blue phase and similarly for vertical tp and db you can use r y b in this manner that is according to the conveniency of the electrician who is designing the distribution system clear now your question will be what is the difference between this horizontal and vertical tp and db better to say what is its utility in industry whenever you want to have three phase input and single phase output then go for horizontal tp and db and in case of if there is required three phase input and three phase output or single phase output as well then go for vertical tp and db this is the design as per industry works here now 
the most important part for designing is the number of ways sometimes the students or any designer gets confused on this concept there is two ways for spndb ways and tpndb ways so first we will consider the spndb way concept okay so in spndb we know single phase input and single phase output so as i was saying that if there is requirement for four output from a particular db that means you have to create four different circuits so go for usually four way spndb if there is requirement of suppose six output for six different circuits then you have to go for six ways spndb if eight then similarly eight ways if 12 number of circuits are required then 12 ways this is the norms how a, an spndb is installed in a circuit now there is a concept of a spare that you cannot exactly use the same number of ways as per requirement then i am coming to it this concept of spare later in this lecture so it depends upon the manufacturer and market availability of the dbs that number of ways are available but usually for spndb four way six way eight way even 12 way these are available in market now vertical tpndb or horizontal tpndb or as a whole tpndb ways there is usually available in market tpndb which are four ways six ways and eight ways so there is a very simple rule if the requirement is 12 or less number of single phase points from a tpndb go for four ways tpn db so what we have understood from here it is the number of ways should be multiplied with three so from four ways tpn db you will get 12 output that is single phase output for six ways it is 18 output and for eight ways it is 24 output is available in single phase form from a tpn db so it is depending upon your requirement that which type of tpndb you are going to use in your circuit clear now that was said in the previous time that the concept of spear and blinding plate okay so suppose there is if there is a 12 way spndb so you require 10 number of outputs from this particular db then you have to use 10 different mcbs from this spndb clear so two spaces of mcbs are empty so what will you do in this two space either use one spare and one blanking plate that is this is the blanking plates this is blanking plate one and this is two so that whenever someone opens this db this should not be empty and the person should not be electrified that is the function of using the blanking plate and the spare means suppose one of the mcb gets out of order so that mcb suppose this mcb number two this incomer should be connected suppose this is the spare directly to this spare mcb so that you get a continuity of supply without having the hazard of buying or installing or mounting a separate mcb in the db or in the distribution board so i think the concept of this utilization of distribution boards and its function is clear to you if you have any doubt Please mention in the comment section below and all of your suggestions regarding the lecture is always welcome. Thank you.